Hello, people. Welcome to another episode of Iron Fist Mining. Uh, I'm back in my spot of doom. Gonna get me some shiny. I got some insurance to pay for. So, uh, upon coming down here this morning, I haven't been here for about a week. Uh, the beach wrecking asshole has been back and kicked over absolutely everything that I had for uh, where I run my sluice. Just leveled it out, so I had to come through with my little shovel of doom and fix my hole. I mean, you remember how smooth and nice the beach was. They just got to come down here and tear it up. This this guy is such a pussy for doing this, too, because I know he's watching me. And he still won't come down and try to act like a man and talk to me. So, dude, if you're watching, you're a punk, and I am going to bang your girlfriend for this. Anyway. I am planning on getting me some shiny, and the water's somewhat low, so I should have a decent chance at it today. You know, depending if I get on this, the spot. Now see, when the water's high like this, that's what you call surge gold, surge gold, or float gold. Now, the gold isn't floating. Surge gold just means that there's enough water pressure pushing the top layer of stuff that it's blowing gold down. That's surge gold. Now, the other kind of gold is sink gold. And that's where you generally find it, is on the bottom. Now, I don't know if you guys have paid attention, maybe I'll film it today when I'm running my sluice. All the stuff that was heavy enough to be mixed with the gold will run out pretty quick. And if, say if I do it right here, it takes, by the time I fill my bucket up with the stuff and clean out the sluices, the stuff from way up there by the bucket is already down here blowing out so in the period of time it takes to pick something up dump something out walk down here to pan it's moved that far so even if you get gold really good in one spot and then it stops that doesn't mean that that's all the gold it's going to produce it's got to wait for more to come down that's the key to a replenitive system and somebody else uh, asked me why I do these uh, instead of the hot rods. One, because the payout on the gold's instant. Uh, two, it's cheaper than hot rods. And three, I like money that, you know, holds its value. If you took the same weight of what I have now, it would take um, five nickels. And five nickels aren't worth 250 bucks, so... <laughs> That's one of the reasons. Another, and it'll be worth more if gold goes up. Um, what else? There was something else I was supposed to say, and I just can't remember it. I'm still pissed over this. Every time I come down here, I gotta fix this damn thing, and it takes some time. Uh, uh, what was it? Something I was gonna tell you, and it was important too. Nah, I don't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna go dig up some shiny. Yeah, my gold monkeys. This is the first pan. Not too bad, but it ain't all that great. I hate it when the water's high. Uh, here was the one thing I was going to show you when I was uh, panning this out. See how this is building up here? Now I kind of have this curve going. And that's why uh, gold tends to build up on the curves. It tries to follow the straight path, but when it hits a bend, it kicks over. So it falls out of the straight path, starts making a bar. And as it builds up, it drifts towards the current. That's why my monkeys, it likes to collect on the inside bends. So I gotta move it out. This is all junk. No good. Already ran. Already clean. Uh, the other thing I was gonna say is why I do these over the hot rod ones. And to be honest, I get more views on the gold way more views on the gold and ideally I like to make money off these videos so I chase what makes me money like the gold once hot rods start gaining in price again then maybe I'll start working on them but right now it's not really economically viable to do them you know what I mean so I'm going to suck my gold up and try to get some more starting to get kind of late I ran it a little bit longer but you know how it goes all right monkeys this is pan number two 
I got a lot of mercury in there, but there's a lot more gold. A lot more gold. A lot more gold. A lot more gold. See what I was telling you about this? Where the uh, black sand and stuff deposits deposits on the corner. Dig what I'm saying? As it's trying to go straight, it builds up, moves over, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of the advantage of building these little micro things to clean out your solution because you can observe as you made it. It's kind of like when I made that circle S-turn thing and it started filling up with gold. There's a sandbar over here underneath the water and it is like, it's really super hard to get through, but that's where all that gold came from. I just followed my own advice, observations, hypotheses, and zen Z is gold. That's about twice, maybe three times what I got out of the first one. And I didn't dig as hard because I'm tired. <laughs> there is pan number three, and I am sore, and there is a lot of mercury and soap. But there is some gold. It's not bad, man. There was some chunky stuff in that. I'm digging my new spot that I'm digging. I'm not going to show you just where. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to suck that up, show you what I got, and then get out of here. And there's today's total. My guess, fat tent. Um, I know that seems to be the normal thing that comes through here, but half the time I don't know what I'm doing. And the other half the time i got to fix the stupid stuff these yahoos from Inkin like to mess up. But I think I figured out a good spot to go dig for the next time I come down. I won't waste my time. might be able to get a little bit more. We'll see fix the beach a little bit. Other than that, that's about it. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and get the hell up out of here. So until the next episode, people, thanks for tuning in and watching Iron Fist Mining. Keep them hits coming. Babies.